Hello, hi guys, it's Enam here with the Google Nexus 9 and we're going to take a look at how easily we can root this device. Now going through this process will wipe your handset completely clean so make sure you've got a backup of any important data and as always neither myself, Google or HTC take any responsibility for anything that may go wrong during this process so do proceed at your own risk. So once you're ready to rock, head on over into your settings, go down to developer options Options. If you don't have developer options, hit about device and tap build number seven times until it says you are a developer. It says I'm already a developer, so I'm going to go into developer options and make sure there's a tick next to OEM unlock and USB debugging. Accept the prompt on the screen and then plug in your device to your computer using a USB cable. First of all, you'll need the Android SDK as well as ADB installed on your machine. I've already got it installed and you can see a link to it in the top right of my screen. There's plenty of material online showing you how to do this, so I'll leave a link to it down in the description box below. Next, you'll need to download the CF auto root file for the Nexus 9 from Chainfire's download page. He's an excellent developer that puts in a lot of work, so if this helps you out, make sure you donate to him. At the bottom of the page, you'll find the link, which shouldn't take too long to download. Here it is on my desktop. It's a zip file so we need to extract it. I'm going to extract it using 7-zip. A link to this application will be down in the description box. It's completely free and I'll just drag into shot here what it's extracted. Going into this folder there's five files so select all of these, right click and copy and then head on over into wherever you have your Android SDK installed. Then go into SDK, then platform tools. And then you know you're in the right area when you can see ADB and fastboot.exe. Paste the files in here. Now what we're gonna do is test to make sure that the connection between the Nexus 9 and the computer is working okay. So whilst holding down the shift key on your keyboard, right click on an empty white space within this window and select open command prompt here. Once you get the black dust prompt window, type in ADB space devices, then hit enter. You'll now notice a window up here on the Nexus 9 saying allow USB debugging with the computer's RSA key underneath. Tick the box to say always allow from this computer and hit OK. Which should display your device under the list of devices attached with a mixture of letters and numbers and the word device after it. If it doesn't appear here then there's some sort of problem. Either you didn't accept the prompt on the screen, there's a problem with the USB cable or port or the drivers aren't installed correctly on the machine. So I'd recommend checking out those three areas if you're having trouble. But if your device is listed we can now reboot the handset into fast boot and the bootloader screen by typing in ADB space reboot space bootloader hit enter and you'll notice the handset reboot into fast boot mode. We don't need the dust prompt window anymore so X out of this and you'll notice we copied in a file called root hyphen windows dot bat. Now this file already has the commands to unlock the bootloader and root your device. So I'm going to right click on this and do run as administrator and we get some instructions on the screen. Please make sure your device is in bootloader fast boot mode before continuing. Warning all your data may be wiped, we know this. We are going to run the OEM unlock command on your device. If your device was not previously unlocked, this will wipe all your data. Yep, we know. After the unlock CF auto root will boot, you should see a big red Android on your device screen. Press Ctrl and C followed by Y to cancel. Press any key to continue. So we know what we're doing, so we're going to press any key to continue. Now you'll see the unlock bootloader screen on your Nexus 9, giving you some information and basically yes to continue or no to go back. We want to press a volume up to unlock the bootloader and as it states there, may void your warranty. On the computer it says it may take a minute or so for the red Android to appear. If it doesn't show up at all, there may be a problem. And you can see the green Android saying erasing on the screen of the Nexus 9. And it should go through to the red Android logo, but it looks like it's just gone back to the bootloader screen where it now just says unlocked in pink towards the top. So it says press any key to continue on the screen, which we'll do. And we haven't got the red Android logo that should have appeared. So what we're going to do is run this root windows uh, command again and press any key to continue. And it'll go through the motions uh, again and it says it's going to take a minute or two. Press any key to continue 
and on the screen uh, of the Nexus 9 now you'll notice a red Android on the screen saying it's rooting with Super SU and rebooting in 10 seconds. So it looks like you have to run it twice if it doesn't appear on the first run. We can unplug the device from the computer because it's no longer required and the first boot up after it's been rooted it will take a little bit of time so just be patient it may reboot twice but let it do its thing and continue so there we have it that took a couple of minutes to start up and it did actually reboot twice and we'll check the application screen and there we have it super su is here and what we'll now do is head on over into the play store download a root checker i like the one from joey crim and it shouldn't take too long to download and install and we'll give this a quick test hit open here and we get the prompt for the agreement we'll go through these we'll go to to verify route and this is what we like we'll hit grant and boom there you go congratulations this device has root access that's how easily you can root your nexus 9 as ever any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comments section down below there and ooh, that's a little bit smudgy Nexus 9 towards the back. And uh, any other questions, hit me up on social media, Twitter and Instagram at Inamga4. I do post up quite a few photographs over on Instagram from varying devices. So do check me out over there. If you found this video informative and helpful, do hit that like button. And if you're new, hit subscribe. It's just down there. It doesn't cost you a single penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos as we've got plenty of content coming up. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day, and we'll see you next time.